Hi everyone, welcome to Rachel Pick Their Yoga. My name is Rachel. Today we're gonna to be stretching out our lower body because I know that you guys love the lower body flexibility practices. I do too. So find just a little bit of space to move. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and let's get started. All right, let's get started in butterfly today. So you can bring your the soles of your feet together and your knees out wide. If you feel like you're falling back a little bit in this, you can sit up on something, just stick a pillow under your sit bones. If you are able to fold forwards, get into those hips, you can start to tip forwards. But we're gonna spend a few moments here just kind of settling in. Another option is to just place the hands on the knees. Find a nice long spine, close your eyes and just be here. <sighs> or be here, folding forwards. Whatever feels good for you and your hips. All I ask is that you just let your eyes close. <sighs> Start to connect with your breath. Start to notice where you are feeling this stretch. Making any little adjustments if you need a little more or less. And wherever you are, whether you're sitting tall or folding forward, just let your shoulders fall from the ears. Relax your jaw. Nice job, you guys, if you are folding when you're ready, just use an inhale to slowly lift yourself back up. Slide your hands onto your knees, sit nice and tall. And then you can start to open your eyes if you haven't already. We're just gonna move our legs a little bit here. So we're gonna come into our double pigeon. So I want you to bring one leg, maybe the right leg, down. Your shin is trying to be parallel to the top of your mat or to the edge of your mat. So we're not sitting cross-legged. And then you're going to put your left foot on top of your right knee and think about bringing that left knee on top of that right foot. So you might be here. If it feels okay, you can stay. If it's not working for you on your knee, just bring the feet in a little bit. Just kind of see what happens when you sit more cross-legged. If you have a little opening like so, like that, maybe a pillow would fit between and it could be a little comfy, you could throw a pillow between your foot and your knee. You want to think about bringing that knee down towards the foot though if you need more and even potentially adding a forward fold. So I like to flex my feet in this one. My knees like it when I flex my feet, keep my feet active and then just kind of see what happens. So we're trying to get into that left glute, that top leg. Whatever your top leg is, we're trying to find that glute, that outer hip. Maybe even into the quad a little bit. Awesome job, you guys, if you're folding. Again, just use an inhale when you're ready to lift up. We're just gonna take this top leg and extend it out to the side. So it's gonna be straight and out to the side. You can move your other leg in a little bit. I want you to start to flex this foot, that one that's out to the side. Take an inhale, sit tall. Maybe you're staying here. Maybe you're gonna tip forwards. So you might kind of have to bring your hands out a little wider just to keep your sit bones down. They tend to lift. And we're feeling this through that inner leg. 
that inner thigh, maybe even into that inner calf. You might need to keep that hamstring or that foot flex, not your hamstring. You could even grab onto the toe. We're just dropping the chest if it feels good. And trying to keep the sit bones on the mat. They like to lift. Nice work, you guys. So use an inhale, lift yourself back up. Nice little transition here. We're just gonna turn ourselves to face that leg. So for me, it's the left leg. I'm now facing that left side completely. My left foot is now straight out in front of me and I'm just gonna move my right foot to my inner thigh. So take an inhale, sit tall. Again, maybe you're staying here. You can flex that foot. And as you exhale, tip forward. So now feeling this more through the back of that front leg instead of the inner thigh. Ah, so good. Hmm. Nice job, you guys. It's not spending a crazy amount of time in each of the poses that we're doing today, but that's okay. Use an inhale, lift your upper body back up. We're gonna turn to face the front again, and we're just gonna bring this top leg back over top. So I might have lost you. I want you to extend your right leg out now. So that's the opposite leg. We're still on that left leg, and we're gonna come into a cow face. So I want you to think about bringing that left knee towards the right knee. Okay, so you might have to set those sit bones down. You can keep your bottom leg out straight. Maybe add a forward fold. You could be getting into the glute. You could be getting into that hamstring. Or you have the option to bend that bottom leg in and focus more on the glute. So think about those sit bones. Ground your sit bones, your glutes to the mat. Add a forward fold if you want it or just stay sitting nice and tall. Fold it forward. Sometimes you kind of have to move and shift a little bit to find that sweet spot or move your legs a little bit. Or maybe it's really easy for you to find the stretch as well. I want you to feel something. Nicely done, you guys. If you're folding, use an inhale, come back. We're gonna unwind our legs. Unwind, a little break. Hug it in, shake it out, whatever you need. We're gonna do all of those things on the other side. So I'm gonna put my left leg on the bottom for our double pigeon. The right foot's coming on top of that left knee. The right knee is somewhere on top of that left foot. And maybe you're here, if it's okay on the knees, you can stay or sit more cross-legged. Uh -uh. Maybe a pillow is coming in between your foot and your knee, or maybe you're folding forward and you've got your feet flexed. But just relax, find what works, play with it, and then relax. Awesome work, you guys. Using an inhale, slowly lifting back up. Just take your top leg. We're going into that inner thigh. So half a straddle. Send your leg out to the side. Adjust your other leg to suit you, to make you comfortable. I like to flex my foot. Tip it forward if you want to tip it forward. Think about keeping those sit bones grounded. Mm, feeling this all through the inner leg.
Awesome work, you guys. Using an inhale to lift back up. If you're folding, we're just going to turn ourselves again to face that right side. So moving that right leg so it's straight out in front of you. The left foot's on the inner thigh. Take an inhale, lengthen your spine. Stay here or ah, fold forward as you exhale. Nice work, you guys. Using an inhale. Come on up. I'm just going to turn again to face the side. We're bringing the top leg or that right leg back over top. You can start by extending the left leg uh -uh, to set this one up. We're trying to stack our knees on top of each other for our cow face. Stay here with that bottom leg out long or bend it in. Try and stack those knees. Encourage your glutes down to the mat. Tip forward if you want to tip forwards. Mm -mm. And just make sure you're feeling something, whether that's in the bottom leg, the top leg, the glutes. There's a stretch there. And when you're ready, let's use an inhale, starting to come back up, unwinding your legs, just a short little break here. Shake it out, shake it out. How are you feeling so far? Ah, uh, pretty good, <laughs> hopefully. We're coming into a full straddle now, you guys. So bring both of your legs out nice and wide. I'm gonna flex both of my feet so my toes are pointing up towards the ceiling. You can have your hands behind you or in front of you. Just find a nice long spine. Some people don't have to tip forward at all to feel this inner thigh stretch. So you can definitely stay here or you can tip all the way down. Sometimes it feels really good to rock the upper body side to side a little. Awesome job, you guys. Using an inhale, starting to lift back up. If you're folding, just bring your hands to the outside of your legs to help them come back together. A little rock side to side, hug it in. We're gonna do pigeon, normal pigeon. So bring your right leg, let's start with the right leg, forwards. You can do a 90-90, or you can do a full pigeon where your heel might be nice and close to your hip, but I want you to sink those hips into the mat. We're trying to find the right glute, that front leg. You can fold forward at any time, play with it. I want you to find that nice glute stretch. And just a few moments here. We're not gonna be here very long, so try to melt into it. Try to relax your shoulders. Surrender into the pose.
Awesome, you guys. We're slowly going to start to come back up. I'm just going to roll over to one side and switch, bringing my left leg forwards. If you'd rather transition an, a different way, do that. Feel free to do whatever works for you. We're going to set up the other side. So maybe that's a 90 90 uh, with both of your legs, or maybe you're uh, going to bring that heel close to that right hip, sinking those hips down into the mat. Uh, uh, uh. Adding a forward fold if it feels good for you today. Trying to find that left glute this time. And just trying to get lost in your breath for a few moments. Feeling the stretch, but just, just breathing. Nice work, you guys. Let's slowly start to lift back up. I'm just gonna roll to the left a bit to swing my leg forwards. A nice little break here. We're gonna do one more stretch for those hips. You can do butterfly. We started in butterfly. Maybe see how it feels a little different than when we first started the class. Or I'm gonna go for a yogi squat. <laughs> I'm gonna come up to standing. And bring my feet out to the edges of the mat. Turn your toes out a little bit. And we're just going to try and find the lowest, deepest squat that we possibly can come into today. So either butterfly if you want to sit or yogi squat if you want to be just a little bit more active. But get into those hips. So both good options. So maybe the, the triceps or the elbows are coming to the inside of your knees. Just trying to find a nice long spine. Pulling those knees open, maybe rocking a little side to side. Can you walk in your yogi squat? <laughs> maybe we should do a class where we try and walk. <laughs> no, I don't know if that's a good idea. <laughs> nice job, you guys. So just opening those knees if you're in that yogi squat. Hmm, so good. And then as gracefully as you can, just bring your hands behind you. Or if you've got to stand all the way up to come out of it, give yourself a nice little hug. Hmm. A little rock, a little shake. And then just find a nice comfy seat. That is it for today. I hope that you enjoyed a pra our practice together. Thank you so much for joining me yet again today. Um, enjoy the rest of your day. And until next time. Namaste.